Nice to meet you as well. Thank you, you so beautiful. much. Thank you. I've actually been told that I look like you a lot. So <laughs> I feel like I've actually seen you in person. I was like, oh my God, it's like I'm looking in a mirror. This is great. <laughs> this July 4th, I was beyond excited to interview Misty Copeland. She's a dancer and activist who in 2015 became the first African-American female principal dancer with the American Ballet Theater. I caught up with her at Monticello, where she was chosen as a keynote speaker for a ceremony that celebrated over 50 newly naturalized American citizens. Copeland shared with me why she feels it is important to champion the voices of immigrants, as well as what it means to her to be an American. Misty, it's such an honor to be talking to you. Thank you so much for this great honor. What compelled you exactly to speak here at Monticello today as a keynote speaker? So much of my career, I think, has really been about looking at the bigger picture and how I can help to bring about change, use my voice for good. So to be, you know, the first black woman to be a keynote speaker here, I think is, is a huge step in the right direction. I am so much, I think, of what it looks like to succeed in, in the American American dream. And I think that that's kind of this underlying theme that for a lot of the people that receive their citizenship today, you know, that it's really about um, knowing that they can dream about something bigger than maybe themselves or their families or where they come from, but also not letting go of their culture and their identities there. What exactly does it mean for you to be an American citizen? Oh my gosh, it means having an opportunity, having access, having a platform for me to then fight for others to have that. And I know that the Misty Copeland Foundation, it champions diverse voices for the ballet space, the performance space, the overall dance space. What would you say to maybe some newly naturalized citizens who might want to break into the performance field or the artistic field in America and they just, they don't know exactly where to start? Mm -hmm. Thank you for, for bringing all of that up. You know, I think it's really important to surround yourself with support, mentorship, community, um, because that's how you build your confidence. That's how you find um, opportunity. I think it's by having support. And so what's been important for me with the foundation is going into communities that might not otherwise be interested in an art form like this, you know, white European art form. And a lot of the communities we've started in are black and brown communities that are, you know, d don't wouldn't have the means to put their children in an art form like this that costs a lot of money. You know, I think that it's about kind of changing that perception of what's available to them. The arts is about more than just becoming a professional and going on to have a successful career, but that it's an important part of what it is to be a human being and that everyone should be experiencing experiencing it at some level. And what do you wish that someone had told you when you were a young performer trying to make your way and you might have been on the verge of giving up on your dreams? I think it, a lot of it is about belief in yourself but kind of blocking out that outside noise not to let you know other people's words define you or define what success looks like for you and and, um, and what that can be and I feel like that's how I've just kept climbing and climbing and fighting is that I've never compared myself to anyone else's journey. Why do you think it's important to champion immigrant stories in America and how do you think that we as American citizens can champion them on an everyday basis even if we might not have a large platform like you do? We each have voices in telling our stories because that's what America is. It's not just one story. It's 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 several stories and through my own production company that's so important for me to be able to tell those types of stories that you know when you think of um, um, indigenous stories that it doesn't always have to be about um, tragedy that we can tell stories of triumph from different cultures as well and so I think that that's so vital in um, really being honest and true to who we are as Americans. Well thank you so much for your time you're an inspiration I can't believe I'm getting to talk to you right now you so and um, I really appreciate this thank you so much. You. You're so wonderful. Oh thank you so much it was <laughs> truly amazing to talk to you I'm just so nice I'm speechless right now and you're even more beautiful in person.